With this tutorial, I will show you how to achieve this type of design. The main thing here is the left side where the picture is animated and going back and forth. This will be there until we click to the end of the slide. Get into your PowerPoint and let's start designing. I will create a blank slide and I will insert shapes and insert a very normal simple rectangle to the like half of the slide. This will be the cutout part. Now we need to actually make the cutouts. I will quickly change the color so I can see better what I'm doing. Continue by going insert shapes. In my case, this is alt two and I'll insert triangles. You can of course uh, do this different, but I want this broken glass look. So I'll create this with triangles. I'll rotate this triangle and this triangle should be just above the slide a little bit. This will be my, my first reference point. Click on the shape, control D, just make it longer, rotate it a bit and make the tip stand beyond this original object. All right, like this, control D, again, a little rotation. I think this is too small, bigger. Okay, like this. And now I'll continue with some smaller pieces. It doesn't matter how many of them are on the slide. I'll go, here I went for a little more, but I think those are unnecessary. I will make it like this and I will make one last really narrow one to like round up this design. They can intersect each other, it doesn't matter. All right, perfectly. Now we have the left side prepared. I will click on the original object, the original orange object. I'll press shift, click, 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 click to select all of them. The order is very important. This needs to be clicked first. Now I will go to shape format, merge shapes and simply subtract it. You can see where I'm going with this. Shape outline, no outline. Shape fill, I'll go with a white fill in a moment. Now we need a picture. You can go to unsplash.com or a website with free pictures, but since I have PowerPoint 365, I simply go to insert pictures and I will select stock images. Now decide upon something that will work here, something maybe colorful. It depends on the color scheme mm, of your design. Th this looks really nice to me. It looks like a shell or something. Uh, I will put it here and it's important that you make the picture cropped to the size of this shape. Crop here and I will make it a tiny bit smaller so I can, I can enlarge it without any problem. I click crop, right click, send to back and now I can finally take this object, shape format and color it into a white color. Beautiful. We've created the left side of this design. How did I go about the animation part? I selected both elements, both of those, animation, and I selected fly in, but not from bottom, from the left side. This is a little too quick. Right click with previous. The duration can be one second and 25 frames. I will double click on the animation effect and I'll give it a smooth end, maybe a 0.7 seconds of smooth end. Perfect. As you can see, this way PowerPoint gave it this delay. I want to reduce the delay and I have something like this. Oh, this is the previous slide. I have something like that. Beautiful. If you want to make one more animation on top of it, click on this image, open add animation and select grow shrink. You can see the picture would now grow too large. So you can double click on this animation. You can increase the duration to three or five seconds, depending on how long do you want it. Go to effect and here you have auto reverse. So it will grow, shrink, grow, shrink. The size 150 is definitely too much. I'll go, yeah, 400, sure. I will go like 110 or 115, press enter, give it a smooth end so it has this little smooth out. And this is exactly what we wanted to achieve on this slide. The broken glass here is a bit awkward. I maybe made this element too long, but you can notice what's going on. I haven't made it automatically. It is still on click, so I need to right click, start with previous. Now everything will work. The picture comes in and the picture will move until we click to our next slide. And this is beautiful. I don't want to make this tutorial too long, but this is a text box circle boxes and another text box. If you want to see how I animated this, I will just drop that in. I will delete the existing animation and 
Let's do something. For example, if you don't want to waste time, you already animated the fly-in effect. So you click on either of those elements, on this or the picture, Animation Painter, and you just paint this animation over. You can now click on the animation itself. You can see it here. Change the direction to from left, from right, and maybe give it some delay because you do not want everything to happen at once. Delay, 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 delay. Animation Painter on the bottom text. Delay, delay. Now the circles. Either you give them the same animation or with your shift click, you select all four of them and I've selected grow and turn because this looks beautiful for this type of animation. Of course, right click with previous as well and you would need to delay them so they do not start uh, one, one after another. Delay, delay, delay. Okay, too much. Delay, delay, delay. And the second text, I'll put it here as the last one, should be coming in as the last element to the slide. Now, let me preview that. This is exactly what I wanted to teach you here. If you would like to learn PowerPoint with me, you have links to my online courses in the description below. If you do like this design, please like the video and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Thank you very much and see you in other tutorials like this.